What up? So I get this question <clears throat> sometimes. I would say the majority of the people that come work with me are guys who are looking to get more options in their social life, get more control over their dating life. And ultimately, if they choose to get into a relationship at the end of it, that's awesome. However, there's some times where I encounter guys who they get the options, they get the control, they get all of that stuff, and yet they still can't really create a relationship. So this is for those people. Um, until I have a meeting and I talk with these kinds of guys, they usually encounter this problem. I actually just talked to one of my students uh, today about it. Uh, two of my students <laughs> today about it. Okay, and, and this is what it is. Basically, if you are trying to have a girlfriend, I'm gonna tell you what are some of the strategies that you can use in order to get that. And these are gonna be different than the strategies that you would normally use to just get any girl or like get an opportunity or date them. This is for like a serious relationship, okay? So what you need to have is you need to have space for a woman in your life. Most guys don't have this when they're trying to figure out everything themselves, okay? And in today's society with, you know, the, the Me Too and feminism and all that stuff, and um, it's really not much, it's more towards economic uh, reasons. Uh, women can be a part of the workforce now. There's a lot of more white collar jobs that they're just as qualified um, as, as men are to do them. So they can work, you know, they can provide for themselves. Men can work. They can provide for themselves. I know a lot of men who know how to cook really well. I know how to cook really well. Here's the problem with that though. The problem is that there's no space for a woman to serve in their life, okay? So modern problems require modern solutions. Where does a woman, where do you see a woman fit in your life? If you do want a woman that cooks and cleans for you, okay, all right, well, go to places and try and find that kind of woman. But if you want a woman who does other things, who can, you can do stuff with, which I find is actually more appealing to most men, then you would need to find someone who's down to do that stuff with you. For instance, do you go to the gym? Do you want someone who goes to the gym with you? Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, well maybe invite and see what kinds of girls you can get to come do that with you. Maybe you have a couple girls that you're talking to and you want to see if they're actually relationship material. You want to build something more serious with them. See if they're down to do little activities like that. Now you got a girl who's down to go to the gym with you. Now you got a girl who's maybe down to make breakfast with you in the morning. You know, not, maybe not her cooking for you, but you guys cooking it together. Um, maybe you want someone who's like down to, you know, just sit on the couch and watch Netflix or whatever. Okay, that's a space too. But if your life consists of you providing everything for yourself and you're just like me, oh, I can fit in a date on Friday, I can fit in this, like you're not providing space for a woman to be in a serious relationship for you. What you're doing is your, your life is great for dating. Your life is great for, you know, sleeping around and that sort of stuff, but it's not great for building a foundation for a serious relationship. You know, a lot of people think that it just comes down to, oh, I, I just commit to the girl and that's it. No, it's a lot more, dude. Like, you're gonna be spending a lot of time with this person. If it's a real relationship, you're gonna be seeing them multiple times a week and they're gonna be staying over at your place and then you could potentially be living together. Like, your, your guys' interests and schedules and your lifestyle, they, they have to make sense for each other. It's kind of like a puzzle piece. You know, if the puzzle doesn't fit, then it's not gonna work out. And that's okay, you're not gonna work out with everybody. There's sometimes where you have incredible desire for somebody and it just doesn't, that part of it is not satisfied. But you will never know if the puzzle fits if you don't give it the chance to. If you don't have a space for that puzzle to fit in, then chances are you're probably never going to encounter that. So think about how you're orienting your life. Think about how you're leaving space for a woman to be there. And if you're not, then you got to make some changes. This is why I say that group activities or weekly events and things to do are, are the best ways to meet somebody that you are going to connect with, that you are going to be, uh, you can start a relationship with. Okay, I've done this a lot. Now, for me, in my own personal life, <laughs> I haven't been monogamous with a girl in, in a very long time. I don't really anticipate doing it in the future, but I have had quite close relationships with women. And the way that I've gotten that is I've seen them regularly. We've liked to do the same activities together. We have a lot, of this, a lot of the same interests. We share a burning passion for each other. And that's how it gets created. If you meet a girl every single week playing, I don't know, um, maybe, you, maybe you both really like playing intramural soccer and you both do that together. Well, now you have at least one activity that you can do together. She fits a spot in your life that's satisfied. 
I know so many couples that have met through CrossFit. I know so many couples that have met through just like, you know, things that they like to do. Oh, we met at a, even a cooking class where they both like to cook together. So every night they cook, they cook dinner and it's a fun activity with them. That's, that's how they bond. That's how they establish a strong connection. If it's just two people that think they're hot, you know, or they're attracted to each other, that's called a, that's called a fling. You know, that's called a you know, not serious relationship. That's never going to get to the point that you're looking for. So you want something a little bit more. And to have that, you need to allow space for somebody in your life that can uh, occupy uh, that part of your life for you. And if you have that space, somebody, you will find somebody to fill it. And once they do, um, then they will be a part of your life and they will contribute to it rather than you breaking your back and making sacri you both making sacrifices to try and uh, be with each other. And a little bit of sacrifice is fun, but too much is, uh, is never going to work out. Cool. Well, that's all I have to say about this, you guys. Thanks for watching. 